Hey everyone, this is Vikas from Ismail Academy and welcome to another video. And last part, we extracted the image URL and we displayed that in our image view. And we also fixed the some bug of not loading the image when we open the application. So in this part, we will go ahead and implement the download button as well as we will implement the info button if possible. If not, we will uh, implement the info button in the next part. Okay. So let's go ahead and talk about download. Uh, here, I'm not uh, directly downloading image from our application. Instead of that, what I'm doing is I'm I'm letting the user open that image in the browser so that they can uh, manually download the image. Okay, so that is the easiest way to do it because if we try to download the image directly from our application then we need to give the storage permission and so on. So instead of doing all that, instead of asking for the user to user for the uh, storage permission because this our app is really simple and I don't want to have any kind of uh, extra permissions. So that's why I wanted to uh, simply pr uh, use the browser that comes with the Android phone to download the image. So I think that is the easiest way to do it. So let's go ahead and implement the download button. So what we are going to do is when the user click on this download button, we are going to open this image in the browser. And from there, user can uh, long press the image and they'll have the download option. Okay, so let's go ahead and implement that. What we'll do is we'll simply open the browser with the image URL when user click on this download button. So we have this download button implemented here. Okay, but the problem is when we when the user click on download button and if I try to open the uh, browser from here with the URL, we are not going to get the image URL because the image URL is coming after some time when we open the application, okay? Because this is the async task, okay? So if you don't know about the async task, then you can go ahead and search in the Google and you'll get the plenty information. But what generally happens is async task is uh, happening in the background and it uh, happens with some kind of delay. So when we open our application and try to click on download button, then it might not work, okay? So to eliminate that problem, what we can do is we can open this download button option. We can add this download button option inside this uh, on response block here, and it will make sure that we have the URL available to us because this on response is called whenever we actually get the data from the server and we already have all the data available to us so that we can use this cat URL to open the after that we can use this cat URL to open the image in the browser so that's why I'm adding this download button or set on click listener inside this response after this uh, Picasso statement here so to open the browser we can simply start new activity so I'm going to go ahead and write the code to do that Okay, so we're gonna need the URL. So I'm gonna create the URI variable here. Okay, I'm gonna import the class and cat URI. And here I'm going to get, I'm going to parse the cat URL. So URI dot parse. And here I'm going to pass the cat URL that we already have available to us. Okay. And now I can pass this URL to intent. So I'm gonna create new intent for the browser and here I will create new intent and here I'm going to create new action view intent okay so we are trying to view the URL and we will pass the cat URL that we have okay cat URI so do not get confused here this is cat URL and this is cat URI if you want to dif uh, name it differently please do so please don't get confused okay and now we'll simply start the activity and the browser like that okay so this three line of code is going to let the user download the image so let's go ahead and see if it's going to work or not so I'm going to open the image here now this download button should be working so if I click on that it's going to open the browser and here it is opening this uh, image and from here we can download the image okay like that so guys this is how we implement the download button and i can refresh the image and press again it's going to open the browser and it should open the new image here and that's that okay and you can do it multiple times as much as you want like that 
Okay, now let's go ahead and implement this info button here.